Understanding Fallow Field, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to explore the meaning and usage of the phrase, fallow field, in the English language. This phrase is not only picturesque but also holds significant historical and cultural importance. So, let's dive in and understand what a fallow field really means and how you can use this phrase in your conversations. A fallow field refers to a piece of farmland that has been plowed and harrowed but left unsown for one or more growing seasons. The primary purpose of leaving a field fallow is to allow the soil to recover, restore its fertility, and prevent the exhaustion of soil nutrients. This agricultural practice has been common for centuries and is an important concept in sustainable farming. Interestingly, the phrase, fallow field, is often used metaphorically in the English language. When someone refers to a fallow field in a non-agricultural context, they usually mean something that is currently inactive but has the potential to be productive in the future. For example, a writer might describe their mind as a fallow field if they are not currently coming up with new ideas but are taking a break to gather inspiration. The concept of a fallow field carries historical and cultural significance. It dates back to ancient farming practices where crop rotation and soil health were crucial for survival. Understanding this background can add depth to your comprehension of the phrase, as it's rooted in a practice that shaped societies and economies throughout history. When using the phrase, fallow field, in conversation, it's important to consider the context. You can use it literally when discussing agriculture or metaphorically in a variety of scenarios. For example, you might say, I'm taking a year off to travel. I see this time as a fallow period for my career, where I recharge and gain new experiences. I hope this video has helped you understand the meaning and usage of fallow field in both its literal and metaphorical senses. Remember, language is not just about words but also the history and culture behind them. Stay curious and keep learning. See you in the next video.